today we're playing phase 10 twist. So if you've ever played phase 10, it's exactly the same rules, except this one comes with a game board. So you have the game board here. Pick a shuffler or a dealer, shuffler and a dealer. Everybody picks their colors, so mom's going to be blue, Ryder's going to be um, red. Lily's going to be orange. orange, and dad's going to be green. green. So you all start on number one. You can play with up to six players, which we have, but that makes makes for quite a bit longer of a game. So you take the red backed cards, these are your twist cards. You choose these if you are on one of the twist spaces, which we'll get to later, and they get stored in here. You have these two cards. You can put them between the players. They're kind of just a guide. Make sure you have three discard piles. And then you deal 10 cards to each player. Alright, so everybody's starting out on phase one. So if you're like me, I can't see what phase one is because it's written on the bottom. So that's what these reference cards here are for. So we're looking at getting two sets of three. Alright, so I'm going to begin. So I'm looking for two sets of three. And if you know how to play Rummy, easy game. It's nice you have three discard piles to choose from, so I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these. And then you have to end your turn with a discard. And it's as simple as that until you can lay down. So we will fast forward the game, drawing and discarding until somebody can lay down and then we'll explain uh, how all the movement works after that. Alright, so Dad did what we called laid down. So he still has ha cards in his hand, so he has not gone out, but he has laid down. So from here on in, he has to either add to his own in front of him, so twos or sevens, or he can add to one of us once we start laying down. The first person to go out, meaning they have nothing left in their hand, ends the round. So we'll unpause it again there. I also wanted to point out that he has a wild card. Make sure that you have at least one natural card. You cannot lay down three wilds and call it a set. All right, so Ryder discarded a skip card. He chose to skip Mum. And so I will miss my turn. Now, let's say Lily also played down a skip card, or Dad put a skip card. They cannot skip me again until I've the round has gone through. So Lily could skip Ryder or Dad, but not Mom. left in his hand. So that means Ryder, who is red, will move ahead three spaces. One, two, three. 
dad and mom laid down, but we did not go out. So we will go ahead too. Lily didn't even lay down, but she still, pity point, moves ahead one. So that's how movement works. If you go out, you go three. If you lay down only, you go two. And if you can't even lay down, you get your pity point of one. Now, Ryder is on a twist. So once we deal, he will look at his hand and he has three choices. He can either choose a twist card and get double movement points. Or he can choose to do phase three or phase two. But he will get to look at his hand before he makes that choice. Okay, so I just finished dealing. And as you can see, I dealt a wild card. So lucky rider. But I also dealt a skip card, so when that happens, you actually just have to replace it. So I just wanted to point that out. So we're starting on our next one. All right, so Ryder's on a twist. So Ryder, do you know what you're choosing? He's looked at his hand. Are you going to choose a twist or phase two or phase three? Um, phase two. He's going to go with phase two. So he doesn't get the extra bonus points. For choosing a twist but he's gonna play it safe all right so we'll fast forward and uh, we'll count the points with you later cannot be moved or replaced. Keep it where it is. So there's a 12 here. So Ryder was thinking, well, hey, I'll pick that up, replace the wild, move the wild. You cannot replace a wild once it has been played. two, three, and everybody else laid down, so everybody else moves ahead, two. So there's three of us on twists, so three of us will get to make that decision once we've looked at our hands. So we will shuffle, Ryder will deal, and we will We'll stop and we'll let you know what we chose before we start the next round. Okay, so I have decided that mom is taking a twist. So you put it in front of you, you secretly look at it. And that's what you have to get. You don't show anybody until after you laid down. Then you can show everybody what you laid down. Ryder, what are you taking? Twist. Ryder's also taking a twist. Lily has disappeared from the table, so we don't know what she's choosing yet. But we'll speed it up and we'll stop at the end to let you know if we made our twists or not. <laughs> Move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lily laid down but did not go out, so she goes ahead four. One, two, three, four. 
Mum took a twist and I didn't even get to lay down. So I actually go back one. So it's the only time you can go back in the game is if you lose a twist. Dad did not take a twist. He did not go out. So he gets his sympathy one point. All right, it is Lily's turn to deal. And we will just kind of cruise through the game until we get to phase 10. And we will stop it there to talk about phase 10. So how this round is going to work is 
I will most likely take a twist card so that I have a chance to go out. The first person out will win the game because these three normally if nothing happens and you can't even lay down you would move ahead one that does not happen on phase 10 so they have to at least lay down to win the game scratch all that okay so we've made it to the end dad writer and Lily are on phase 10 and uh, mom's way back here on the twist so I most likely will take a twist card so that I have a chance to um, go out with six points. So this is kind of how it's going to work. If I do go all the way out before any of them lay down, I would win the game. The other way this can end is one of them can, one of these guys can win by laying down first. Basically the first person that lays down wins this game. Unless it's me, I actually have to go out before they lay down. So, close game. We'll see how this works and we will unpause it when we get to the end. She laid down, she didn't go out, she laid down, so she's automatically the winner, she moves on. And that is phase 10 twist, so if you like phase 10, but you like a good board game as well, try it out. We got this one at a garage sale, it was brand new in, in the wraps, so it ended up being a Christmas present for the kids one year, and uh, we enjoy playing a family game. The only thing I will note is, um, just like I said on the blog, that... The manufacturers say that it it's a 30 minute game. It is not. This game just took us an hour and 13 minutes. And we're pretty quick. I mean, sometimes we have to think for a little bit, but we're pretty quick. So it is a, um, it does take a long time. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to play with younger ones. Um, they can lose, they can lose their attention. So that's it. Keep playing games and have fun!